Hey guys, it's Katsuki Bakugo from Okay, I'm kidding. It's Redlining and welcome back to another reading my fanfiction. But today we'll be starting to read my fanfiction. One last story, which is my imagining of the last like how my hero is gonna be ending. But I wrote this, just so you know, wrote this before I read the manga and before knowing what happens in the manga. So and when I read the manga it made me decide I'm gonna be writing my own ending. I'm gonna do something more happier and less depressing and nobody dying, but I'm trying not to spoil for anyone who hasn't read the manga. So we should just get started. Hey, today we're gonna be reading chapters 1 and 2. Chapter 1, a horrifying beginning. This is set when the students of class 1A are in their second year. So 2A. So that means Hitoshi Shinzo will be in the hero course. They will still have a razor head as a teacher. There was an explosion. Explosion and a fire started at the Kabuska Academy High School. The smart hero Ms. was outside with her students checking if everyone was accounted for. And then, then some of the students of 2A and the teachers of UA came. Ms. Joke heard a familiar voice. It was a razor head. Joke, is everyone alright? Said, ask a razor head. Yes, wait. Where's your Shindo? Asked Ms. Joke. Then, the, then they see two students, Deku and Soda. Soto. 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 They come out of the building with Yoshindo. After everyone goes to UA, all their students and their parents, w and they were checked out by the recovery girl and some of the other paramedics. Luckily, uh, so I kind of glitched out. Luckily, the school had an extra building for emergencies. UA, not the Kabuska Academy, my bad. Miss Joke checked her students, then she turned around to see a race herd. He seemed to have a little girl near him. Then Miss, Miss Joke was confused. Why did Razorhead have a little girl with him? Is the Razorhead married? If if not, why would he have a little girl with him? Then a student came and took the little girl away. Wait. But a Razorhead was talking to Principal Renezu. It turns out that Miss Joke doesn't have a place to stay. All the students took up all the rooms. And they will have to merge to a, to a Miss Joke's class together. Nezu, Joke can stay with me, said a Razorhead. Are you sure about that? Said Prince Renezu, yes, and besides, I've been waiting and wanting to ask her for her help with Ari, said Nezu, said Eraser. My bad, I put a Nezu by accident. They both walked to Miss Joke and told her the news. Miss Joke collected her stuff and she and Eraser went walking to his home. Why would they walk? They began to talk. Joke, I adopted a little girl. Her name is Ari, said er Eraser. So that's the little girl I saw you with, with I saw with you. Said Miss Joke. Yes, she doesn't have good control over her quirk. I adopted her, adopted her to help Lin learn to control over it. Learn control over it. Said Eraserhead. That's good, said Miss Joke. They continued to walk. Chapter two. A little light. Eraserhead and Miss Joke finally got to Eraserhead's apartment. <laughs> apartment. And Eraserhead and Miss Joke inside, and there was a student there. Okay, Miss Eraserhead. Eraserhead's just in the bathroom, said the man. Then he saw Miss Joke and introduced himself. Hi, oh hi, I'm Rio Tokuda. You don't need to introduce yourself. I already know who you are, said Rio. It's nice to meet you, said Miss Joke. Then Rio said goodbye and left. Then Ari came out of the bathroom. Hi, Dad, is everything alright? Said Ari. Yes, Ari, everything's alright. This is a friend of mine. She will be staying with us for a while, said Eraserhead. Miss Joke got on her knees. Hi, Ari. Hi, my Hi, Ari. My name is Emmy Fukudondo. I can't say her last name. Said Miss Joke softly. Um, hi, said Ari nervously. Do you like jokes? Said Emmy. Yes, say Ari. Knock knock. Said Emmy. Who's there? Said Ari. Ach. Said Emmy. Uh, said Ari. Said Emmy. Ach who? Ach who? Said Ari. Bless you, said Emmy. Ari started to laugh and raised her head, had a smile. Hey, Ari, it's almost time for bed. For bed. Can you get re go get ready for bed? Said Ari. Sorry. Okay, Dad. Said Ari. Hey, Ari, if you want to stay, if you want me to, want me to read you, want me to read you a bedtime story, said Emmy. Yes, please, said Ari. And then Ari went to run to her room. While they wait for Ari to finish, they had tea and talk. Then Ari came into the kitchen. I'm ready, said Emmy. Ari, Ari. Then she and Emmy walked to her room. Emmy read her story. Hey, Ari, I can actually sing. Do you want me want to hear me sing? Said Emmy. Yes, please, said Ari. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a 
diamond in the sky. That's weird. Oh, I forgot. They added like more lyrics to it when I found like the full lyrics of it and I never knew it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Okay, I'm, I'm confused. I'm going to stop now. Ari yawned and fell asleep. Emmy tucked her in. Emmy didn't know that a razor head was outside the door and heard everything. He quickly went to the kitchen. Emmy entered and sat down on a chair. Ari is a very sweet girl, said Emmy. Yes, she is. You'll be staying in my room. I will stay on the couch, said Eraser Head. Oh, Eraser, you don't need to. You don't need. Need, said Emmy. It's okay. Okay. And call me Shota, said Eraser Head. Shota carried her stuff and laid her to his room. Place her stuff down. Emmy, you have a question, asked Shota. What is it, said Emmy. The, the look you had when you saw one of the students was in the building. You had that look before, didn't you? asked Shota. Emmy sat down on the bed and started to cry. Emmy, I didn't mean to. To said Shota, I have depression and anxiety from all my PTSD. <laughs> said Emmy. Emmy, oh, I didn't know if I got two comment comments from that. We don't have to talk if you don't. Said Shota, it's all right. It's better talk to someone else than keep it in. Said Emmy. I was on patrol and there was a villain, a villain tech, and there was a little girl. I saw her die in front of me. Said Emmy with yeah, tears. I mean, I'm so sorry, said Shota. I keep this happy face for the people. And a lot of people don't take me seriously just like, just because I act like that. Even you act, actually, even you. I actually do have feelings for you. But can, but I can see why you don't believe me. Why you didn't believe me, said Emmy, with uh, more, even more tears. Then Shota put her, his hand on Emmy's face and kissed her. Emmy was shocked. She didn't know how to react. But she slowly closed her eyes and kissed back. Shota rubbed the kiss. Emmy, I have feelings for you as well. But you said it was hard. But as you said, it was hard to tell if you were telling the truth, said Shota. Emmy kissed Shota and broke the kiss. I love you, Shota, is how I said Emmy. And I love you, Emmy, for credit. I think, I think you and Ari can help each other, said Shota. What do you mean? Said Emmy. Ari also has PTSD, said Shota. What? She's only seven years old, said Emmy. I know, that's why I think think you guys can help each other, said Shota. I'll do my best, said Emmy, and they kiss once more. Hope my hand got stuck. Well, that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to read the fanfiction for yourself, you can find a link to the fanfiction in the description below. Well, I hope this club got it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and, and if you, um, I already said that enjoy this video and if okay and you're going to be seeing some words and kick off in um three um wait you had um in three two one